You got it. There's a reason why we do these shows together, KJ, and it's usually G.I. Joe. And mm -hmm. we somewhat survived Cobra Island summer of 2021. I should fix that shirt. <laughs> there was some stuff that happened the last few days. It was crazy again and almost uh, depressing, but it ended up being some pretty good news. Tell us what went on for those who don't know. I mean, I don't know who wouldn't know, but go ahead. Yeah, but uh, Target.com, who has also served as the exclusive home for G.I. Joe classified series Cobra Island, or like I like to say, trapped behind enemy lines, they had the collector spot and their summer geek out. So they're going to have daily reveals and it's still ongoing for next week and the week after next. So every morning at the ass crack of dawn at 6 a.m. So I've been waking up at 5.55 a.m. every morning Same. for these reveals. And nothing makes me get up earlier than G.I. Joe. Nothing. Like toy hunting, trying to get the Baroness trying to get this big that big so um at first um they uh the none of the figures were really available we we're just clicking and just nothing was working just getting error messages mm -hmm. and then about an hour in about four of the six uh beachhead firefly roadblock and the trooper mm -hmm. had came back online to many a jubilant fans uh joy so i was able to order pretty much everything that I wanted. Um, I already have some in box, uh, some doubles for customs, that kind of thing. Um, you put me on blast on Facebook, like, didn't you already have all these? I'm like, look, man, I got more of them. <laughs> all right, I got more, got them, all right? So, well, well, so how did day two go for you as far as that goes? Day two went great because I was able to help. Uh, so I went and caught a couple baseball games this week, had a light work week. Uh, Red Sox were in town, playing Anaheim, went with a buddy of mine and, he, uh, uh, a year ago, I think, uh, it was around August, actually, uh, he had taken me out to my birthday. It was the only time he freaking left the house during the uh, pandemic. And uh, I was telling him what was going on with me. I'm like, I'm just obsessed with these classified figures and stuff. And we stopped actually on a, we were going to Big Bear just to get away from LA, you know, go someplace safe where we can kind of hang out. And uh, we stopped at a couple targets on the way. And of course, like we had Pop Finder, and then it was like, six cobra troopers in hand he got there is it not there's nothing they go in the back there's nothing but i got him hooked and he got a bunch of figures but he never got any of these cobra island figures so it was cool that you know after almost a year of not really hanging out he had been traveling and i've been working so we we're hanging out this ball game and and then i was just telling him like yeah jump on this like target might be doing this thing and uh, i was able to i guess he was sleeping in or whatever but i was able to grab him a couple things that he didn't want and then he was able to between pulse in target he was mm -hmm. able to get mostly everything so i i was yeah. like he's imagine just for a whole year not having any yeah. cobra island figures um and then yeah he's he's got it all and i was able to i make fun of you, you and dave a lot and uh vlad for army building and uh yeah. but here's the deal right so we're gonna have uh, there's gonna be another destro with uh mezco toys which we'll talk about a little later on and mm -hmm. it's a somewhat six inch line it, it will work um with classified so yeah um we're gonna have like 20 roadblocks 20 snake eyes uh when it's all said and done 20 coco so it's like i'm gonna need more troopers <laughs> and i'm not gonna <laughs> wait for mezco to make troopers i'm not gonna wait for super seven to make troopers yeah um i'm just gonna get more of these things so yeah i i got a, two more troopers mm -hmm. um and uh i i thought you know i thought i was two two cobra island troopers would have been good and two infantry but yeah, I got, why not get two more? And I got another mm -hmm. Viper as well. So uh, I got it actually for K wish and he didn't need it because Dave hooked him up. So I was like, all right, I might as well take another Viper because I'm going to have several scenes. As you can see behind me, I'm going to have several little scenes where I'm going to have a second or third Destro. They're going to need some troopers around mm -hmm. them. Same thing with, we've got three Cobra commanders. We, you know, we're going to have all these other people like roadblocks and I need some Cobra troopers to beat up and some Vipers to beat up because we're going to have three different roadblocks. So yeah, it made sense to go with more troopers, so I, I I was pretty pleased with the with the restock. Yeah, all right, man. Hashtag Moody Builder. So um, exactly, I love it. So uh, so I guess what would be your top three or top well, five? But there was a PulseCon drop this week before oh, you okay. your top three. Okay, before because, we get into uh, it, it was actually very early uh, last week, but um, 
or uh, towards the end of last week, but we should say it. Deluxe classified Zartan. Uh, you want to go over the different heads, accessories? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is the yeah, yeah. This is the master of disguise. Uh, Zartan it has a deluxe packaging, so it actually has a spin dial for all the different faces. Um, it has different disguises, so you can dress up as Snake Eyes or Storm Shadow or just different personas. And not only that, but the deco that's on that version of Zartan actually takes its cues from our earlier releases. So they're sort of like uh, paying um, tribute to uh, that legacy of Zartan figures. So it looks beautiful. I yeah, you did a comparison. Uh, there's a homage to the 25th line. He's got that. Yes metal vest and then and then yeah there's different brown uh like i believe the other one is right above me yep black pants and then this new one has kind of like the copper uh brown going on so yeah there's a different color scheme no it does not change colors that's another rumor no it's not unfortunately <laughs> it's not going to change colors in the sun unfortunately like, like the like i don't know how you know there is a bunch of guys shooting these things out in the sun but yeah it's not going to work this time maybe yeah. the third zartan but so that's what the 25th anniversary Master of Disguise looked like. 25th anniversary was a very popular version of G.I. Joe. And then we had um, the Masters of Disguise, right? We can probably yeah. have some clear pictures. You can yeah, see, we'll have some see for you from, via Robert. Yeah, I'll, I can send some of these uh, to our buddy Robert who handles our our editing cool. or editor extraordinaire so you can see the similarities right. in there all right yeah let's get into uh i did a top three just because there were only five figures that came out in the classified well six if you want to count the infantry troopers uh so six total um so here's a three uh we'll go with uh my boy flint man my boy flint so i made a joke i was like oh it's a moody figure but k which was like oh it looks nothing like you and it probably doesn't but whatever i was just having fun but yeah, when when with my boy Flint, not sure why I'm not getting the, the clear photo in there, but maybe you could pop up Flint. But uh yeah, I was uh I was real pleased with it. But you weren't. Go ahead. You you it's one of your worst figures, right? Yes, Flint. yeah. I'll go yeah, ahead but... and, and go into it. Um so yeah, it kind of looks like my boy TJ a little more. Yeah. So there's yeah. Flint. I am not a fan of the head sculpt. Uh, Flint in the Sunbow cartoon there was, in my opinion, a bit more debonair. And this guy I get him kind of some Patrick Swayze vibes. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 for sure. But still, um, if you're going to go Swayze, go full Swayze, right? Um, yeah. I am not a fan of the original shotgun. You see I'm using a Mezco Baker's Dozen shotgun with the pump action. And now I have this ridiculous sheath that's on the back that I'm going to have to get an X-Acto knife and handle business. So I am not a fan of that. Yeah, it's like I'm not a fan of the Hasbro weapon that's included. I don't With mind that. it actually. They're to, I think people were actually just pleased they weren't Nerf guns. Mm. I think that's kind of why he got a pass when it first came out. Yeah, but... it still looks like a Nerf gun to me. Like the way that it operates, it's like yeah. either gonna be pump or you crack it open. You're not gonna yeah. do both. So yeah, whatever. for sure. You're a little more hard con uh, hardcore with the uh, accessories. Uh, what's your number three of 2021 for Joe? Number three of 2021 would have to be this bad boy right here, uh, Cobra Infantry. Um, oh, yeah. I fought like hell trying to get the cobra trooper last year um the cats were shady with it like they would actually cut you in line they would yeah. jump into the senior line and then boom they'd just be gone so like right here this was um you know uh it retains a lot of the sculpt from the original cobra trooper shout out to fred axton uh from 2d sculpts on instagram and boss fight studios you see here i have him with a marauder gun but he still has his uh nerf hasbro gun in the back um, but I was able to still order at least another trooper. Um, nice. And I have and I have so many infantry, even though I ordered a third trooper, I canceled it. Because like, I don't need any more than that. I already have like third party goggles, uh, armbands for my infantry. So it's like, let me just go ahead and get one more official trooper. And then I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah. You're on another level. The way I look at infantry is if I see them in a target and I'm having a failed hunt, I'll, I'm going to get it. I'm mean, just to mm -hmm. get something. And mm -hmm. then just add it to my collection. It's one of those. I'm not going to start ordering a lot, uh, moody builder. But uh, mm -hmm. if I do happen to see some just randomly, like, all right, I went for Transformers and find anything. Oh, an infantry. Okay, cool. Like, why not? It's 20 bucks. It's there. So, you know what I mean? So that's kind of the way I'm looking at it. Uh, number two, speaking of troopers, um, technically there's stuff wrong with it. But aesthetically, it is just an ultimate figure we had gave this a full review earlier 
in the year but the cobra viper is just yeah it's completely lethal i don't know i'm not getting the uh i'm not getting the views but you got vipers right so i did get a viper yes did get one but yeah anyways so maybe too much sunlight in my house but and then i have a second viper that's on the way so dope yeah but these viper uh it was number one earlier in the year for all figures but yeah it's mm -hmm. number two but go ahead you're two all right, so my number two is going to have to go to the homie uh, Major Blood. So right. I still have him in box. I still have to take him out. And I may get my hands on another Blood. Like There was a moment when it was uh, went from really hard to get to it became a peg warmer for a second. You know, yeah, so right. if I get a second one, I'm going to try to make it look more like the classic look. It's more it's the Sumbo colors. But I love the art. Um, I love all the accessories it comes with. Um, once again, Fred Axton, um, homeboy. He's one of their top sculptors at hasbro and on classified so i love everything that's going on there all those dog tags those are dead joes man this dude does not play around uh but yeah like the artwork that's on the packaging um everything about this you know i love it even this target map of all the places where you're not going to get mm -hmm. uh exclusives at these different stores you know yep and, and it looks for, great out of the box and for no other reason and yeah i'll just jump you say your number two is my number one. If for no other reason, we talked about this figure more than any other figure. I think three of our like headlines for the year on our videos were like major blood, major blood, major blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out for blood and all this. But yeah, just just for even the hype alone, he deserved my number one spot. Go ahead with your number one. Uh, actually, I'm going to make a shift instead of Farfly um, because once again, I'm a fan of the sculpt. Um, a lot of people didn't like the EOD diaper vest that he came with but I honestly didn't mind but you can still mod that off and like add soft goods but uh i'm going with zartan cool that's a great figure yeah it was it was one of the best this shut a lot of people up that had a lot of complaints about the aesthetic direction that classified series was going in and um you know just once again um this is you can see the love for the character and just how like dastardly he looks um so it's great I'm going to see if I can make a color change, Zartan. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you posted. Well, That's now that fun. you've got the deluxe one coming out, it's worth, might be worth the risk. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'll admit he might have been higher on my list if that deluxe didn't come out. He might have actually been number three instead of Flint or maybe number two instead of the Viper. But with once the deluxe came out, it kind of like, ooh, it was a, I, he had to go to number four for me and with Firefly 5. Unfortunately, of the six Joes, I, I, I didn't want to count Infantry Trooper because it's it's kind of just a downscale version of the Cobra Island. They did, like you mentioned, they did change some of the coloring of the uniform, got rid of le less blacks, more navy blues. But this is the this uh, this is was the worst. And now it's absolutely gorgeous because it's uh, yeah, Marvel it's really Legends cool. Wasp uh, Lady J and shout out to K-Wish who was able to help me uh, throw this one on. But yeah, it's this isn't the worst because I had to make changes. But Lady J, sadly, um, didn't have the greatest face sculpt. So um, as a figure, though, I mean, I love love the uniform, love the weapons. It's accurate. Um, it just wasn't everyone's cup of tea. Some people do like it. Some people do love the Lady J. They're, mm -hmm. they're okay with the face sculpt. That's perfectly fine. But there was a lot of... Uh, just like Scarlet, there was a lot of flip flops with the with Marvel Legends and the and the head sculpt. So I had to give that uh, worse uh, classified. Uh, do you have any thoughts on anything from twenty twenty one classified before we move on to Marvel? Yeah, um, the classified um, they are work, walking a tight uh, tightrope because they had to you know honor the figures that came before decades ago, mm -hmm. uh, all the way from Real American Hero twenty fifth anniversary and so on. And but also like they don't have like the actors, the photo scans and the likeness rights that Star Wars, Black Series or Marvel Legends MCU have. So they're doing this from scratch. And if you're not careful, you're just going to end up with Uncanny Valley. Unfortunately, I think that's what happened with Lady J. That's what happened with Flint. You're sculpting a face that doesn't exist in real life unless they have model releases. In that case, I my apologies to the models. But um, but yeah, I, a lot of people are are doing face swaps you know like i'm probably going to do like a marvel studios classified series you know, one of these days and just right. see how that goes 
kind of basically what we're doing. But put it this way, G.I. Joe hasn't been this popular since maybe the 25th year, uh, 25th anniversary, and if not longer. It's uh, the hype is real between the Snake Eyes movie. <laughs> Careful, kids. Electricity can have shocking results. No time, gung ho. Stop. has something to say. Snake Eyes doesn't talk. Actually, I'm Henry Gold. Henry Golding? I play Snake Eyes in the new movie. There's a Snake Eyes movie? Wait, you made a Snake Eyes movie without us? No, just without you guys. That hurts. Cool your jets, Duke. See, kids, sometimes friends need time apart to explore what makes them mysterious ninja assassins. Friends understand giving each other space. What about enemies? Oh, God. So hopefully we'll get those in hand pretty soon. Mm -hmm. I'm on a new level. Ooh, ooh. So yeah, I'm yeah. on a new level. Yeah, yeah. So some people got these from China or wherever in the Asia. So some people already have uh, Snake Eyes with Timber. We don't have these in hand. So we're just doing our top just to let people know, oh, we're Snake Eyes and Timber. No, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. we're going over what we got in our hand. Hopefully, you know, they come sooner or late than later. But, you know, what, do you, what can you do about it?